promised you some crock pot videos so this is going to be hopefully the first in several or many this month so i'm going to start with um a really popular one in our house um it is what i call crock pot chicken and um i love it because it is super simple it takes all of like less than five minutes to prepare um, usually I take an onion and I just coarsely chop it up, I mean like into big chunk size pieces, but I have run out of onions. Um, I don't know how that happened, how I don't have any onions, but thankfully Steve has painstakingly, um, chopped up, like diced up, um, green onions from our garden. So I'm just going to dump those in there. And he has painstakingly done the same thing with some onions that we bought at the store. I'm just going to dump those in there. See how easy this is? Um, and then I'm going to take my chicken. I'm going to kind of make sure that's all kind of spread out into the bottom of my crock pot. I'm going to take my chicken, which for our family, usually just two boneless, skinless chicken breasts are enough. And just put those in on top of all that. And I'm just gonna use that for my trash. Okay. So now that I throw my trash away, I use I bought this a while back, I coupon also. And I think I might have paid two dollars for this with coupon and on sale. So I have like a ton of this still, so I use my olive oil and I just kinda eyeball it. It's usually a quarter to a half a cup. And McCormick has come up with these great recipe cards. Um, we like these three. Um, there's Asian sesame. They call it salmon, but I use it for, I'm not a big fan of salmon fillets. Steve is, um, so sometimes he'll use it for salmon, but I'm a, I like to use it on chicken. So the Asian, Asian sesame salmon and um, the garlic lime chicken fajitas. We don't really use it for fajitas a lot. We'll just use it on chicken and you know it's delicious and our all-time favorite is the rosemary roasted chicken um i don't it says with potatoes but we don't really use it with potatoes um uh, and this is what we're using today it comes in each of these are a tablespoon and it comes with um paprika rosemary garlic and ground pepper and so i just take each of these and i dump them in my olive oil um, so, you know, there's no exactness to this. You just dump. Then you take your fork from four, kind of stir it up, kind of mix it up into your olive oil so there aren't any clumps of anything. And then you just, if you want to come over here and you just kind of pour it over your chicken. Just so your chicken kind of gets seasoned. And some of it's kind of left, so you just kind of, most of it's your garlic kind of gets all clumpy. And then that's it. You don't pour any water, nothing. And you cook it on low for about five, six hours. You just come in to check it, you know, when it's done. So I just come back when it's finished and I just shred it up and I serve it with potatoes and green beans or sometimes I serve it with rice and some steamed broccoli. You know, just whatever we have, whatever we, whatever I decide I want to cook, um, whatever I'm in the mood for. But the kids love it and Steve loves it and it's a hit every time and it's delicious and it's easy and you see it's super simple and super quick to fix. So I hope you enjoy. Alright, so here is the finished product. Um, I, as you can see, I made egg noodles to go with it and some steamed broccoli and chicken is all shredded up and it is delicious and I am getting ready to go and plate up the rest of it and we are going to have dinner and this is going to be the end of the vlog today and that is about it. All I've done is some more knitting and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Monkey.